Okay, this is our week 9 summary blog post for Math 10. Today we're going to be doing graphing of lines and equations of lines. And the two equations we're going to use are the point slope form equation and the slope y intercept equation. General form does not work as you don't have enough information here. To do these, you need at least either the y intercept or you need the slope and a, um, a coordinate. On the on the line. So, what we want to do is start with point slope form. So, point slope form we have already been given a coordinate, and that coordinate is going to be three, and it is also going to be minus five. Now, this one works because the way that it works is in this equation we have the slope times x minus x, which in this case is just x minus three, which means that three is the x coordinate. And then y minus y, which is going to be minus 5 here, because y minus minus 5 here is going to make plus. So it becomes plus 5 in the equation, but it is actually the coordinate minus 5. And as you can see, it is on the line. If you had done it where you had entered positive 5, you would see that it is nowhere near the line at all. So that is why you use minus 5 for the first coordinate. Now from here, it's really easy. All we have to do is use the slope, which is 1, because slope is being multiplied into the rest of the equation and add that to this coordinate and the slope is 1 over 1 which means we would just add 1 to each which is 4 and then we would have minus 3 uh, instead of my or minus 4 instead of minus 5 and as you can see with a slope of 1 that increases it up 1 now from here you should already be able to find out without adding even the slope but just by looking you could go up 1 and 1 and what does that give you it gives you 3 and minus 3 but since the slope is 1, it's like that anyways. And we'll have slope of 3 and minus 3, which gives us a, or it's not 3, uh, 5. 5 and minus 3. And that gives us uh, the perfect line with 3 points, all with a slope of 1. And you can see that that is, in fact, the line, and that this is the correct equation for this line because you can plot the points there, and that that is how you would find it if you didn't already have the line here but now let's do that for slope y-intercept so for slope y-intercept it's almost easier we can start already with a coordinate graph so you only really need to find two and that coordinate is the y-intercept which you know has the x-coordinate of zero because it's the y-intercept and in this case it is four because this plus four here is in the formula of the y-intercept form of an equation, the y-intercept comes not with the x, because x is the slope. So the y-intercept is 4, and we have the first point of 0, 4. Now all we need to do is use the slope, which is 2 over 1, to add that. Now 2 over 1 means that the y is on top, which means that 2 is actually the y, so 1 is your x-coordinate. So we want to add 1, and 0 plus 1 is going to be 1. And then since 2 is the y-coordinate, we're going to add 2 there, and that's going to make it 6. So as you can see up here, with a slope of 2, going from 4 to 6 here and then over 1 we have the second point on this graph and we can just do that again by adding 1 to the x and 2 to the y to get 2 and 8 which makes another line and as you can see both of these lines work with the equation and that is how you would find the points for the lines using the equation if you were using it to graph um, and that's just a simple skill uh, like I said before if you had it in general equation um, there it would equal zero and it would be all different you would have to get the y on its own and turn it into either the slope y intercept or into point slope form before you could graph it because that does not work you cannot graph points on a line if the line is in general form because it does not work properly um, but yeah anyways that is how you do it uh, it's quite simple it can be applied to every single one of the equations in these two forms and that is the week 9 summary blog post video.